Hey everybody, hope you're well. I'm just by myself early in the morning at the office, so I thought I'd just record a quick video. Yeah, it's funny, you create one vlog after a couple of months and then it kind of re-energizes the want to create more and try to figure out how I can actually build it into my schedule so that it's somewhat sustainable. And so I've actually done that just on a side note by putting an, a line item in my tracker and just making it a personal brand, just maintaining some level of personal brand content throughout my weeks. Hopefully, that's part of the plan anyway. But anyway, it's cutting straight to what I'm actually wanting to talk about today because uh, I've been talking to a few people recently about productivity, lifestyle habits, that kind of thing, which is quite intriguing to me as well. And one of the things that conversation points is, you know, how do we actually start our days? Like, how do I start my day? And so really briefly, one of the, I just want to share really one of the key things that I've put into practice over the last six months that has really helped me personally. And I want to share that with you today. Like I said, I'm here in the office. I'm just walking around trying to find different angles to make the video look different. But every day I'll always start off in the mornings at home. And you know, I'm in the office at the moment. So when I wake up, I want to make sure I wake up fairly early so that I can you know, do some Bible reading and have some devotion time with the Lord and then get myself ready. And then I've been really, really enjoying the drive to work recently because it's about a 20 to 25 minute drive. And in that time I can pray, I can really meditate and think and talk to God about what the day is gonna look like and you know, just have that time with Him. And then I get into the office and if I beat everyone, which normally I do when I get here, I'll do some journaling. And for me, journaling has been one of those things that has been quite hard to comprehend properly for me. At least I'm the kind of person that's quite logical and ordered in terms of my thoughts. I don't like just want to just scatterbrain myself. And I never really understood the benefit of what journaling is or what it could be. And then earlier in the year, even though I have been doing some bullet journaling over the last three years or so, and that's changed over time the way that I bullet journal. But I learned one thing at the beginning of the year that I've continued to implement since every day or as much as I can anyways, even on the weekends. I wanna share that with you right now. Let's uh, kinda of do it over here, I think. I don't have a tripod and my this is heavy. So. I learned this from a YouTuber called Richard Yu and he teaches a method of journaling where it's about 10 minutes or so and you just take time to brain dump everything that's on your mind and then do a three by three, which is three things you're grateful for, three people you wanna invest time into and invest love into over and above what you normally do, three of your main tasks you need to do for the day, and also the big thing for the year. And um, that's not really three things, it's a one thing at the end. I've been doing this method of journaling for I think the past six months, and it's been really effective. So I continue to do that, and then typically I also just pray over it after. I've done that and then that sets me up to get into the bulk of the day. So yeah, it's been working for me for a while now. Like I just said, I find this a really, really great way to start off my days because not only do I actually get a record of everything that's on my mind and really release it onto paper and pray over it, leave it in God's hands, but it also helps me to look back over time when I flick through all my last you know, entries and the things I was thinking about and kind of even get to, I guess, have a bit of data behind what I, I'm naturally thinking about all the time and the priorities that are in my head, things that maybe I could be improving in general over. So for example, a lot of the time i would notice that one of the big points that I am always thinking about is finances and, and cash flow in the business, for example. And so I know that that's something that I need to really just continue to trust God over because it's something that I'm always thinking about naturally. So I find that really helpful to kind of identify as a thought pattern in my own life and then figure out what I can do about it practically, but also just continue to go, all right, God, that's an area of my life that I want to control a lot of the time. And then another thing that I have noted is, especially when my life feels like it's out of balance, it really confirms that to me because I can even see the first things I write down may not be the things I should really be thinking about primarily being really transparent about it you know there's been times where I'll be writing down a whole heap of things in my head and then near the end of the list I'll start to write things about like, spending time with Annie and I go oh hang on why is that one of the last things that's on my mind right now 
but it's actually the reality and it's only when I put it out on paper that I went all right now I'm conscious of this and I should really do something about it and it helps me to organize my thoughts and kind of think through the day in general so I would highly recommend trying this method so again to recap it that's brain dumping so literally just real short short and sweet everything that's on your mind just one after the other until you've kind of done it no longer than you know two three minutes to do that and then three by three three things you're grateful for really helps to enable that gratitude to come into your life if you haven't been practicing that consciously just realizing that there's a lot of things that are actually really good in your life at the moment and then three people you can actively go out and invest time in you know, send a message a gift or whatever it is you know, knowing their love languages help as well in that area and then three of the key three things you need to do today so if by the end of the day I haven't finished the key three things then that's not good and I need to obviously figure out those things are the rocks for the day and sometimes I populate it with more tasks just so I actually list them out but as long as I'm conscious of the three biggest things and then the one thing for I guess the 12 month period so for me in 2021 my thing that I've been writing down every single day is I don't work December 2020 on holidays but Brown Fox does so I'm going to continue to work towards that and every single day every morning when I write it down it's a reminder that we're setting things up in view of that as the one of the 12 month goals so it's something that I've actively been doing and I find a lot of benefit out of so hope you do too